Yeah, the boys are excited. It's been a few weeks since we've actually played together because we've been a few Premiership games and Champions Cup games since the last LV, LV block. So boys are excited to get out there and play. A lot of the boys have played in the last LV Cup final um, a couple of years ago. Um, a lot of the boys have got Premiership experience and Champions Cup experience. And then the young boys are all full of confidence. So I wouldn't say the nerves would get to us this weekend. Uh, it's the second time in this competition we've played Leicester. We've only just played in that in that last group group game. Two teams know each other very well. Uh, will it be even you know even more difficult this this time out? No, you know, knowing that the two teams uh, how they play. Well, obviously, as it's a semi final, there'll be a bit more pressure on it. So we'll probably play a bit more conservatively. Um, but at the end of the day, it's us first Leicester. Um, we played them a few weeks ago. We always have big games against them, so it should be an exciting one. For this, this young side, um, uh, you know, a lot of these players have played you know, the first handful of games for Saracens. Uh, you know, just, how much of an achievement is it you know, for this, this team to get, get this far in the competition? Yeah, it's amazing. Like you said, a lot of them hadn't had any experience before this year, like sort of Tom Whiteley, George Perkins, and they've all played amazing this season. Uh, Tom Whiteley is his first year as a fly half. Um, I just saw the other day he's been voted for LV Breakthrough Player of the Year. So they've, uh, they've stepped up to the mark and hopefully they will do again this weekend. You were involved in that um, LV Cup winning side um, two, two seasons ago. Um, describe your, you know, your, your memories of, of that, um, that competition. How, how together you know, was that group and is this group this time? Yeah, back then we played, yeah, it was an amazing season. That was my first year at the club. Um, and we had a solid group that sort of the Storm lads, we won the A-League that year, same group, like some Niels Moore and Hayden Smith. Um, it's a really, group of, really good group of boys and I say it's pretty similar again uh, this time round. Um, but obviously a lot of the boys have got a bit more experience than a new batch of young lads coming through. It's pretty similar. It is a bit of a team within a team as well. Uh, when we go away and play, um, we spend a lot of time together. When we're training, if we're training against the first team or whoever's picked for the first team, you're always sort of together in the bibs. Um, always trying to push the boys who are playing as hard as possible so it sort of creates that culture within within a team. What, in terms of your, your game, um, Ellis, which, which coaches do you, do you work with you know, quite closely and, and work with um, you know, in improving your game? Um, so we all get assigned a coach who sort of is our mentor and I've got Dan Vickers. Um, he's uh, done some great stuff with me. When I first came I didn't have a clue about any of the backfield stuff, obviously moving from a back row player to, to on the wing. So I spent a lot of time with him just going through the sort of positional stuff, um, the kicking, um, high balls, and things like that. So I spent a lot of time working with him. But then obviously we've got Shawsy and Kev uh, with the backs too. So sort of a mix of those three, but mainly after a game, I forgot to go through the clips and stuff, it's with uh, DV. And finally, uh, playing at Allianz Park, making sure you know, you've got that home semi-final, how important will the home ground uh, be it on uh, Saturday? Yeah. In hindsight, it's probably pretty, pretty important. We did it last time in the LV Cup. Um, got Saints at home, and that was a really tight game. And obviously, a lot of support helps push the lads through. Um, it's just a bit more familiar. Um, and like we showed in the last few weeks, we had a couple of tough Premiership away fixtures at Gloucester and Worcester, and uh, didn't come back with the win. Then sort of consolidated back at home against Sale. So it's always better to be at home.